You know, it's always exciting to be here at Mar-a-Lago, but especially for this event, which is the Jelly Bean Ball. involved did you have to be to get this thing pulled together? Well, it was a mutual understanding between the ASA SEALs and myself. Uh, they were anxious for something and uh, I visited their place and I just fell in love with what they were doing. And we talked it out and put things together quickly and boom, we were off. bit about the Fabergé eggs that are up here. This is the Victory Egg. And it commemorates the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. We have a tank here, and uh, if we open that up, inside is the big three at Yalta. Oh, I love that! Roxana, what we're looking at here is Theos tercentenary egg. Here in Intaglios are carved the non-Romanovs, their palaces. And when we open that up, again in the Fabergé tradition, we have the surprise, the famous bronze horseman from the city of St. Petersburg. That's actually Peter the Great. Oh, is that your favorite? Well, I tell you, I don't have a favorite. I love them all. What does this really do for Palm Beach, an event like this, for our children in our community? Because Easter Seals is the only child development center for kids of all abilities, one of the places that's important to be is in Palm Beach. There are so many, you know, generous people who will be able to help us, we're hoping. We're the only center of its kind in all of Palm Beach County, so this event, along with all of the other fundraising we do, is vital to keep our doors open. Tell me about tonight, what we're painting as far as it's something that's unusual. Well, it's I'm something... unveiling a pretty special piece tonight. I can't really tell you what it is because that would give away a lot of the yeah, surprise to it. Yeah, but that would be a, a Palm Beach Rocks exclusive, you know. It's a visual. You really got to see what happens. You really got to see it, Describing it is huh? just not quite going to cut it. Two or three paint brushes in each hand. Paint goes flying. Brushes go flying. The canvas spins in circles and turns. It's all in rhythm, the music. The best explanation, it's a rock concert with paint. It, it is so powerful. People literally come up in tears. They get goosebumps. Oh. I've seen corporate audiences, suit and tie kind of people, standing on top of the chairs, screaming at the top of their lungs. 